It's Ash for Kapow, and I'm sitting with a uh, Hollywood superstar uh, himself, Oscar award winning actor uh, Richard Dreyfus. How are you? I'm an uh, Oscar, Oscar award winner. 1978, is that right? Yeah, 78. Yeah. First time in Australia, how are you finding it? There aren't a lot of Oscar winners around here. Actually, there are. There are an amazing amount of great actresses that come popping out of this country and actors and um, I'm getting pissed off. We tend to all move to Hollywood and start taking the jobs over there. Well, you know, you go where the work is, but the talent is amazing. One of your first big roles, the, the, the monster role that, that sort of set everything off was Jaws. That was a film that had a budget of a mere nine million dollars in real... Four million dollars. Four million dollars was the go-in budget. Even back then, Even that, that that, yeah. that, that, that was, was that reasonable money for a film production? Well, it was reasonable by unreasonable people who made unreasonable decisions. The original um, schedule of Jaws was from May 2nd to June 28th. Okay? We started on May 2nd without a shark, without a script, and without a cast. I was not cast until later on the script was not finished and the shark never worked so we went right through June 28th like a like something through a goose and uh, we left the island on September 16th and we weren't finished May 2nd June July August so there and then we went to the tank in the back of Universal going into the film did you have any doubt that it was going to be a success or was it was uh, we, the people weren't quite sure how it was going to be received. I said after the film was shot that it would that it would fail. <laughs> That's how stupid I was. Um, but th I didn't know what I was talking about, and I was just a kid. So then I saw the film, and it scared the hell out of me. And I knew it would be a hit. How are you around sharks now? Around sharks, uh, I'm only at a distance. Hello, hi, shark. Um, I once went scuba diving at, in the Galapagos, and my partner went, and I turned around, and there was a tiger shark, and he was facing me, and he was no farther away than that blonde lady, and he went, and then went away. And I got out of the water so fast, and that was the... That was scary. That's as close as you want to get to a shark. Yeah. Um, working with Spielberg, you've, you've worked with him on several occasions. Um, what, what, what is he like to, to work with as, a, with as a director? And I guess also with the story that you've just told me about Jaws coming together all at the very last minute, there must be some sort of magic there um, as, as a director. But also, what, what is he like to work, work with you from your perspective? Um, Malcolm Gladwell? No, I haven't. He's a very well known author in America and he writes pieces for the New Yorker and he publishes books and one of them is called Outliers and it's about the notion of comparing genius with 10,000 hours of practice and he proves in a sense that the Beatles had 10,000 hours of practice, Albert Einstein had 10,000 hours of practice and Bill Gates etc. Stephen had 10,000 hours of practice, which meant that he could blindfold his mind and still make his way through the film experience. He also had a dollop of genius. So he is, that's why you don't know when you hear that Stephen is making another film, you don't have a clue what it's going to be. Would it be fair to say Jaws or Close Encounters was, was a highlight of your career? What, what, what would you mark or circle as, as being a highlight of your career? My life was a highlight of my career at that time. I mean, everything was uh, amazingly touched by grace, God, or luck. And I worked with people who spoiled me for the rest of my life. I mean, literally. I thought all directors would be like Steven, I thought all scripts would be like The Goodbye Girl, I thought all films would be as noble as Close Encounters, you know, I, I was, by the time I came through the 70s, I was a twist. <laughs>
the last one of the last things that I saw you in was Red, which was fantastic. Absolutely loved it. Um, you, st you still have the itch for acting, and and, and you're still working. Do you plans for the future? Uh, I'm writing, and I I still act, of course, because frankly, it's the only way I know how to feed my family. But um, there's a difference now between then and now. I'm 70. Uh, which is still hard to accept and nothing holds my attention so much as trying to save my country. Just one final question, some people have, well Oscar winners hold their, their little gold man in odd sort of places, where do you keep yours? In the refrigerator. Nice and cool, very good. Richard Dreyfus, thank you so much for your time. Know, because I don't want to brag but I want everyone to know. So I figured that they'll open the refrigerator. <laughs> really nice to meet you. Enjoy your time in Australia. Thank you. Thanks.